Hey guys, the Cessna Plane here, and I'm back with another Mac tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can sync Safari, iCal, and Address Book with multiple Macs, and the best part about it, it's free. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that the applications are closed. Make sure you um you go like for example, if you have Safari open, or even if you don't have a window. Just make sure that Safari is quit by going by clicking on the icon in the dock and then quitting Safari like that. Okay, same applies for iCal and address book. Anyway, so the first thing uh, you're going to want to do is go into your home user folder, then into library, uh, and for Safari, all the Safari files are stored in a Safari folder inside the library folder. And there they all are there. So let's just go back. Um, and what you want to do is you want to move this folder into your Dropbox folder. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. So make sure it's there, which are so nine items. Nine items. Yep. Okay. Let's go back back All right, so then what you want to do is trash the Safari folder and then you're going to want to open up terminal and right here I have pre-typed these uh, these commands which we're going to paste into terminal so we're going to copy this Copy. Command V to paste. Now, obviously, yours isn't going to be the, exactly the same as mine because uh, my Dropbox folder is in a, a different location than, than the, the default. So, um, if you have any questions, just uh, just ask me in the comments section and I'll answer them for you. So if we have a look here, just keep your eye on this um, this window here. Once we press enter, you'll see that it's created a, a Safari folder, which this actually isn't a folder. It's called a symbolic link. And this basically is like a teleporter. Uh, and it teleports into the, uh, the Safari folder in Dropbox. So we're basically fooling Safari and making it think that the folder is actually in the library folder when this actually teleports to the Safari folder inside Dropbox. Okay, let's do the same for uh, iCal. iCal stores its files inside the calendars folder. So let's go ahead and drag this into the Dropbox folder. Open this, 10 items. Open calendars, 10 items. Okay, so we can safely delete calendars. Empty the trash. Um, let's copy this, the calendars one. Command C and Command V. Now, just watch the window. There we go. It's created a calendars um, symbolic link. And let's do the same for address book, which is it's stored inside application support and address book. So let's uh, make sure we're inside Dropbox. Yep. Four items. Four items. Okay, so we can safely delete this. Of course. Make sure that your files are backed up before you do this. And then we're going to want to copy this. Command C, Command V, Enter. And there it is. So now whenever you, um, whenever you make changes to iCal or Address Book or Safari, pretty much anything you do will be synced and if you have another Mac you just basically do the same thing you create a symbolic link inside the the library folder 
and um, and that's it. So I thought that was that's pretty cool. And and if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, uh, all the best. Take it easy.